Welcome to Mastering Solutions. In this general problem, they tell us that the longest recorded pass in an NFL game is 83 yards. Assuming that it was thrown at the optimal 45 degree angle, what was the speed that it left the quarterback's hands? I always think it's funny when I look at the little tick marks on the question in the book, because this one says that it should be a moderately difficult problem. But if you use the maximum range equation in the book, it's actually not too bad. First though, we need to convert this distance of 83 yards into standard units. So we know that we'll want the yards to cancel. And in one yard, there's essentially three feet. Now let's go from feet to inches. So in one foot, there's 12 inches. Yards will cancel, feet will cancel. And now let's go from inches to centimeters to put us into metric. So in one inch, there's 2.54 centimeters. And now we'll go from centimeters to meters. And in one meter, there is 100 centimeters. We've done dimensional analysis so many times, but just as a reminder, if it's on the top, you multiply. If it's on the bottom, you divide. So we have 83, and then we'll multiply that by three. We'll multiply it by 12 to put us into inches. Multiply by 2.54 to put us into centimeters, and then divide by 100 to finally put us in meters. So we have 75.8952. 75.8952. I'm not going to round that just since it's an intermediate answer. It'll give us more precise later on. Now we want to use the range max equation, which they say in the book that R max is equal to the initial velocity squared divided by gravity. We're trying to figure out though, what was the initial velocity? So we need to rearrange this for that. So let's multiply both sides by G. So the initial velocity squared is equal to r max times gravity. And then we'll take the square root of both sides. So the initial velocity is equal to the square root of the maximum range times gravity. So the initial velocity will be r max, they said was 83 yards, and we found was 75.8952 meters. And then we'll multiply that by gravity, or g, and in this case, for this equation, we want positive g. So we'll use 9.8 meters per second squared, and then take the square root of all of that. So we have the square root of 75, I guess we can just do a second answer. So 75.8952 multiplied by 9.8 gives us 27 meters per second. So the answer for how fast he had to throw it was 27 meters per second.